Greetings fellow test subjects, test subject 1337 here for Aperture Gaming. They make it, we test it, you play it. And welcome to my review of We Happy Few. Now some of you may be wondering, but wait a minute, I've seen videos about this game from like several months ago. How, why is he reviewing a game that's so old? Well technically those, my, those videos were probably like the uh, early access uh, leaks. Like some people, they got early access to the game. Also, I'm pretty sure some of them are the beta build. Now, here's a little interesting thing about this game. This game was actually completely funded by Kickstarter. Over 7,000 people pledged money to this game and it came to fruition. It not only met its goal, but it actually got a couple of stretch goals done, which is pretty cool. Now, when I first uh, saw like a trailer for this game, I was like, why does this look familiar? Um, it's because it's based, it's uh, from the same people that uh, some, some of the same people that worked on the game Silhouette. Because you can see it in some of the design styles of like some of the characters and stuff. I was like, no, oh, that's pretty cool. Um, I've, I've learned a lot of information from the Wikipedia about this game, so I won't bore you with all the details, because I'm pretty sure that'd be a pretty long video. So you can check it out. Uh, if, you're, if you're interested, check out the Wikipedia links. But uh, yeah, so way to go. Got a video game kickstarted. That's, that's pretty awesome. Alright, so what is We Happy Few? I guess first of all, here's what the reason I'm doing this review, like I said, because of the whole other videos, is a lot, some stuff, either minor or great, can change from the beta and the early access to the, the, the release. And I was like, I wanted to wait till the game was out. Now, I did see one part of a video where someone was doing some stuff, and I was like, okay, so this is kind of how the game works, and I wanted to wait to play the game myself to, you know, have some fun with it. And also, some people, they may have never heard of this game, and if you're following my channel or me, if you've never heard of this or you're interested for my take, thank you very much, and I hope you enjoyed this review. The game is set in England in 1964, in the fictitious area of Wellington Wells. You, uh, the first part of the game, you play as Arthur. Now, here's what. Uh, this game was, del was delayed and released because they actually said they were adding a second playable character. And then when I was watching... Now, when I first installed the game, it said, buy the season pass, you can get some extra stories for three of Wellington Wells' most famous citizens. I was like, wait, three characters? So then I watched some of the, uh, I watched some of the, uh, announcement trailers for the game, and I saw, okay, there's, there's the first character. There's the second character. I confirmed that from reading some, some information on game sites. And then after seeing the same, the, this third character appear twice in the, uh, in both trailers, I was like, that must be the third character. I didn't play through enough to get to see the second character, but uh, here's what, you do meet the third character relatively early on in the game. I'll try not to spoil it, so yeah. Um, yeah, so, here's what, lot, lot, this game is rated M, and there's a lot of games that are rated M for like stuff like suggestive themes, or violence, and then there's like uh, alcohol use, tobacco use, but this one is solely focused on drug abuse. Yeah, seriously, this game... One of the main factors in the story about this is that there's this pill called joy that people take. It's like, if I could describe, describe I'd say Prozac on steroids with other side effects. It's uh, the driving plot behind the game and, well, you have to play it because it's not, it, it's, it's interesting. Especially with the backdrop of 1964. Uh, Gameplay wise, it's first person. You focus on collecting stuff to use or to craft. Uh, combat is mostly melee, but you can like throw stuff for like either distraction or for combat, like rock or glass bottle, or or like you can create uh, throwable weapons. Um, yeah. So hopefully, we, as you play further on, you'll be able to unlock the second and third characters' stories. I rented the game temporarily just to, for the review. Overall, I'd say it's pretty good. The game plays pretty well. Um, Environments are different based on based on where you are. Like, it depends on how people act, and based on what you're doing. And here's a factor: what you're wearing and your attitude depends on how people treat and look at you in certain areas of the game. There's like only, and there's one thing that I really like about the game that's really interesting. One of the people who worked on the game actually dressed up in period clothing, put on the put on like makeup, and like you get the we get this radio or TV show. It's in black and white, and it's this character named Uncle Jack. And it's not just a CGI rendering, it's an actual person they filmed and put it into the game, so that's pretty cool how they did some changes up. Now there's like three little areas that I have to have a nitpick with. And the, the first thing, there's 
is what like the game will tell you like if you're trespassing like the like the heads up display thing goes red and says warning you're trespassing but there's like two areas where I went to where okay I went to one area I'd say come back at night it's like okay I'll come back at night and when I went there then I hadn't done anything and everyone was all at me I was like okay seriously you want me to <sighs> so I guess that's how the game plays and then secondly when I was walking around this one area where the where the foliage on the tree, the graphics didn't render properly first. The tree was bare, then it had like a, the flat polygons, and then everything came in. So, technical glitch, I'm sure that can be cleared up later on. And the third one is the load, the load times for the game. Like, for the opening, uh, some stuff like Fast Trouble, I get it has to load the factors, but sometimes the load stuff seems to take a little too, little too long. And here's the weirdest thing. I was walking around in the middle of nowhere a couple of times. Like maybe there'd be a few trees here or abandoned building there, but there'd be like no people or no mission or anything. And then for some reason a loading screen would pop up. It'd like hang around for maybe two seconds and then go back to normal. Like, so that's kind of a weird thing. I mean, the game is very open world sandbox-ish from what I played and you have some fast travel points. Uh, the game, it does play really good. And one of the interesting things is like you can choose easy, medium, or hard, or you can like do custom options like you can have permadeath if you're feeling really adventurous, or you can like say, oh, I want to be invisible, but if I get hurt, I want to make sure the healing things aren't as effective. You know, you can customize to play your way. So yeah, this is really interesting. I mean, the, 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 I don't think I've ever played a game that was backed by Kickstarter before, so this is a first. It was independently developed, and then they had to work with some other studios to like, you know, bring it to like the PC console. So it's available now. So first off, is this game Buy, rent, or pass? I'd say it's a buy. I mean, I just rented it, but uh, I'll, I'll try to rent it again, and maybe later on I'll buy it. It's a, it is buy-worthy. It is very good. The story is very interesting. Graphics are good. Only like a few nitpicks here and there. And yeah, so far I've enjoyed it. So, we here at Aperture Gaming, we give We Happy Few a 9.5 out of 10. Just a few areas that need to have some polish and improvement, but I'm sure with patch updates, like I said, there's a season pass where they'll be adding some more content later on. So yeah, until next time, yeah, buy the game, 9.5 out of 10. This has been Test Subject 1337 for Aperture Gaming, saying thank you for watching, and as always, have a nice day.